My name is Catherine, and I come from the Norwegian scale-up No Isolation. And I believe the name says it all. We aim to help people out of social isolation and involuntary loneliness. And the antidote to loneliness, that's connectedness. So therefore, we make communication tools. And we believe that we need to do that by designing really closely with those groups that are at risk of experiencing social isolation and understanding what their problems is. Because then we can take that knowledge and transform it into warm technology. This here is our first solution. It's AV1. It's a little telepresence robot. And it's developed for children that are too sick to attend school. And we actually, we developed it with five children as well in Oslo that were living with a long-term illness. And when I was growing up, I was a lot in and out of hospital due to diabetes type 1. And trust me, all you want in that situation is to be connected with your classmates and not to be missing out. In Europe right now, there's about 500 school desks that are standing empty for more than three months because children are away. Now, with AV1, you get to be there because AV1 is an avatar that goes and fills those school desks. And the children, they operate it via an app. And through that app, they have access to the classroom. And it's actually their eyes, their ears, their voice. And really, let you be there. Now, it's also connected via Wi-Fi. It's got 4G, so you can be connected everywhere. And we gave them it the really boring name of AV1, because it's truly a representation of the child that can't be there themselves. So they give it their own name, or a slightly different name. Like, if I had had one, it might have been called RoboCat. The child is always in control of the robot, but it also needs to be picked up by the teachers or the classmates for breaks and so on. So it really encourages inclusion at the same time. Now, the educational part is really important, but there's other things as well, such as knowing who's friends with who, what kind of football teams are popular, or what music is being talked about. And with AV1, you can also you know, get all that info and that makes it easier to reintegrate back to school afterwards. So AV1 is a robot that enhances human connection. It does not replace it. Now, another group that's really at high risk of experiencing loneliness, that's seniors. Not all of them experience it. But you see, it's not getting old in itself that can make you lonely, but it's the loss of a partner, or it can be loss of mobility or cognitive functions. If you've ever managed to, like, or forgotten a password, you know that that can be kind of tricky. Now imagine that every time you try to log in, you forget the password. But it can't be technology that's the problem, because that generation, that senior today, they were the first ones in human history to put a man on the moon. It's got to be something with the communication technology that we're developing. And it's an online communication that instead of closing the gap, it has been widening it. And it's an online swear that too few seniors today have access to. But seniors, they love to be connected. They love to be connected to friends, family, and to know what's happening. But 75% of people over 75 years today is not online. We wanted to bring them online because simple things such as photos, messages, video calls, things that you and I take for granted, they don't have access to. But this is why we made Kump. Now, Kump, it's a one-button screen that connects generations. It's a compassionate computer that enables companionship. And yes, we Google optimized that one. Now, Kump simply works the way that it has a one button, on and off, it goes into the home of the senior, it has a big screen, and to that screen, the whole rest of the family can connect via an app. And there they can send in photos of what's going on, they can video call, and they can send messages. You see our user here on this photo. She has it to the right of her. And through that way, this group gets to be brought, brought online. Now, these are things that we believe 
are truly important at no isolation. And the alternative is to live in loneliness. And um, loneliness can actually be as harmful for some groups as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. It can double your risk of early dementia, and it is more detrimental to your health than other risk factors such as obesity or inactivity. However, technology, it is merely a tool, and it is we, the people behind it, who decide how it works. And AV1 is now in use by more than 800 children in 13 different countries in Europe, bringing those children back into school. And KUMP is now in use by more than 500 seniors. And the great thing about KUMP, we know, is that the longer people have it, the more they use it. On average, a senior having a KUMP gets four photos per day. So that's like having nothing. And then suddenly, you get four postcards from your loved one. And that is being rolled out as we speak through Elköp, El Giganten, Giganti, I believe it's called here in Finland. And if you're a bit in doubt of what to get for your grandma this year, I believe a kump is the answer. So at No Isolation, we believe that technology is also a part of the solution. But you have to understand why it is we need to be connected, to whom we need to be connected, and how that is to be done. But through putting technology to use, we can put an end to loneliness. Thank you.